It's one of the busiest times of the year for the Sandia Peak Tramway. Hundreds of people lined up today waiting to take a ride up and down the mountain. But in just a few weeks, those lines are going to be empty as some crews are going to get to work. The tram shuts down for maintenance every year, and Griffin Rushton found out this closure is going to be a bit longer than it normally is. Yeah, that's right, Tommy. We're talking nearly two months. In just about two weeks, crews are going to get started on some long-awaited upgrades. It's all happening behind the scenes, so don't expect any new gondolas or changes to the terminals on either end. But officials say there is one thing that you might notice the next time you take a ride. It's one of the most popular tourist attractions in New Mexico. But after 57 years of faithful service, the Sandia Peak Tram is taking a break to get some work done. Very exciting time for us, uh, a big modernization of the system. Starting January 9th, General Manager Michael Donovan says the tram will close for nearly two months while crews install some long-awaited upgrades under the hood. This is where the magic happens, so to speak. This big powerful motor right here pulls the cable that moves the tram up and down the mountain and it's all operated from this control room right here. And you might be surprised to learn this is all the same exact technology from when the tram was built back in the 1960s. There have been upgrades to that system uh, with more current relays and information, but uh, moving into the future, uh, we just think this is a better avenue. Donovan says the team of Swiss engineers is flying in to help install a new motor and computer operating system, among other enhancements. We'll be having cameras on the towers and weather stations so that we'll get actually more real-time information being fed to the uh, uh, console operator and, uh, and, and be able to drive the tram uh, in, in a lot of different conditions more effectively. Donovan says the new digital operating system will also make it easier to make repairs. Very similar to like what cars are going through today. Uh, a mechanic can plug in and, and get diagnostic information it just makes the car much more reliable and robust. Donovan says the roughly $1 million project will also make the ride up and down the mountain a bit faster. Probably somewhere in around the 13 and a half to 14 minutes compared to 15 minutes today. It's not a big change on the surface, but Donovan says the upgrades will make sure the tram is here to stay. The Sandy Peak Tram is like an icon of all of Albuquerque. Uh, we're excited that this is the first step that we're taking that the tram will be around for years to come. Again, the tram will shut down for those upgrades starting on January 9th. Donovan expects that it'll wrap up uh, sometime in mid-March, so uh, don't go planning any Valentine's Day excursions. I guess not. So what's happening with the restaurant up there on the peak? Well, Donovan says it's also shutting down while crews work on the upgrades, but he says most of the employees there are able to, they're getting temporary jobs up at Ski Santa Fe, Ski Santa Fe while the work happens. He did add for everyone that the hikers and snowshoers who are planning to use the tram to access trails at the peak or, you know, just get a ride down after you trek up the mountain, well, those people should uh, probably figure out other plans. I guess so. All right. Thank you, Griffin.